Welcome to the GCSC Technology Integration YouTube channel. I'm Mr. Shields, and this video covers Canvas collaborations. Collaborations are a way to create G Suite and Office 365 documents through Canvas. Students can then access the documents either through Canvas or through Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. Collaborations have a number of uses, including taking a class set of notes, class brainstorming or whiteboarding, group presentations, group lab reports, and many others. Let's take a look at this useful tool. Okay, let's learn how to create a Canvas collaboration. For this video, I've created a demonstration Canvas course for the current semester. I'm going to locate that course on my dashboard and click to load that course. Once the course loads, I'm going to look for collaborations on the course navigation menu on the left side of the screen. If collaborations is grayed out for you, that likely means that you have turned collaborations off in the student navigation portion of the settings. If you are unfamiliar with how to change that option, please check out my video on setting course navigation options for students. Once you have ensured that collaborations is turned on for students, you can click on collaborations and you are taken to a screen that looks like this. You have numerous options for how to create a collaboration. The drop down here gives you the option for Google Docs, Google Apps, and Microsoft Office 365. The procedure for creating each of these collaborations is slightly different, and I will break that down in the following three sections of this video. Let's start by creating a Google Docs collaboration. Under the Start a New Collaboration heading, you will need to collaborate using Google Docs. Make sure you select that from the drop-down. You will need to provide both a name and a description for the collaboration you are about to create. Make sure that you type those in. Once you have provided both a name and a description for the collaboration you are about to create, you can scroll down. You will see the list of all the students in your course in this area on the left side of the Collaborate With option. Notice that you can view by individuals or you can view by groups if that's a feature you use in your course. To add a student to a collaboration, simply click the plus button to the far right of their name or click on their name. Either way, we'll add them to the collaboration. Please remember that when you add students to a collaboration on the right, you are creating a Google Doc that will be available in their Google Drive or within Canvas that they will have editing privileges too. If you would like to be a part of that group as well, make sure that you add yourself. Also remember that if you have a class of, for example, 24 students and you want to break that class down into eight groups of three, you would need to create eight separate collaborations and add the groups of three yourself. That would create the Google Doc that would be shared with everyone in those groups of three. You could also add yourself to each group to ensure that you see what students are doing. That's an advantage of a collaboration. Once you have prepared the collaboration the way you would like, click Start Collaborating. And once you click the Start Collaborating button, it may take just a moment to load, but you will be taken to the Google Doc in which everyone who was listed has editing privileges. If I return to Canvas, Please notice that now I have a Google Docs collaboration right here, and if I click on that, it will also take me to the same Google Doc. So students have two ways to access. They can access through their Google Drive, or they can access by clicking on the Collaborations tab. And because this document was created through Collaborations, it cannot be deleted from the student's Google Drive. Let's look at other ways to create collaborations. You can see that I'm still in the collaboration section of the course navigation menu, and from there, I'm going to choose the Start a New Collaboration option. Again, I have the Start a New Collaboration heading, and I have to choose how I would like to collaborate from the drop-down menu. This time, I'm going to select Google Apps. For Google Apps, notice the look and feels a little bit different than Google Docs. And in fact, it may take a moment to load. Here I have the ability to choose which type of Google app I would like to collaborate with. I can choose a doc again. I can also choose a spreadsheet or a presentation. Usually I recommend this for spreadsheet and presentations. If you want to do a doc, I would use the previous method. Let's just choose a presentation. Again, I must provide a name and a description. And in order to type those, I must click right where it says name and right where it says description. Once I provided both a name and a description, again, I can scroll down. I will see the list of all the students in the course, and I will also see groups if I utilize groups within my course. Please notice that one difference is that the teacher is not listed in the Google Apps collaboration. So again, if you wanted to create groups of students, you would need to create multiple collaborations and insert those students. So let's say I just wanted to have three students in this collaboration because I want them to work collaboratively on a slides presentation. I would add the three students who I want to work on that presentation, and then I would hit Submit. And that collaboration would be created 
would be created for those students and all three of those students would have editing privileges on that slides collaboration. Once the Google Slides collaboration is created, a card is created under collaborations just as it was for the document. Though I could not add my name as a teacher when I was establishing the collaboration, I can still click on the collaboration to view what students are doing. So if I want to check in on students, I simply need to click the title of what I created and it will take me to the document so that I can see how students are progressing on this project that I have assigned to them. We've created collaborations using two different methods, yet there is a third method that's also available. Back under the Collaborations tab, under the Course Navigation option, I'm going to choose Start a New Collaboration. Under the Start a New Collaboration heading, I'm going to choose how I'm going to collaborate using which method from the drop-down. I'm going to choose Microsoft Office 365. Again, it will take just a minute for this to load. Once that loads, I will choose the type of, I'm going to scroll down, I will choose the type of collaboration I would like to create, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. I'm going to create a PowerPoint, and I must give the document a name, and I must also give it a description once again. Once a name and description have been provided, I'm going to scroll down, and I will notice the menu appears very similar to what it did with Google Apps, as opposed to Google Docs. Again, to add a student or a group of students to this, I'm simply going to choose the students that I want to add. And again, if I utilize groups within my class, I can click on groups. In this case, I just have people. And once I have added the people I would like to work on this collaborative presentation, I'm going to click Save. And again, it's going to take just a moment, but that collaboration will be created. Notice that once the Microsoft Office 365 collaboration is created, there is a card under your Collaborations tab, as there have been for the Google Docs and the Google Apps creation as well. You still have the ability to click on the collaboration from Office 365, but I have noticed difficulty in getting this to load so that I can view it from my end. Students are still able to use this tool, but I as the teacher have some difficulty accessing that to see what students are working on. This may be a glitch within the LTI itself, or it may be something within our system. But if you are creating collaborations to monitor students at Greencastle Community Schools, I would highly recommend that you use Google Apps for that process. If you just want it to create it for students to access, but you're not concerned about checking in with them, you can go ahead and use the Office 365 option as well. Now that you've created all these great tools that will allow your students to work collaboratively, how are you going to direct students to access those resources? You can see that I'm logged in as a student in the course, and I'm going to click on Collaborations. Once I click on Collaborations, I will see any collaboration that has been created by the teacher that I'm a part of. And from there, I can click on that collaboration and it will open. It will also be visible to me in my Google Drive, and I can see that someone has already responded to me since I created the document. So I have two ways to access that document, either through Canvas or through Google Drive. Canvas collaborations are a useful tool that obviously allow your students to collaborate in a number of ways. Many times, just collaborating in class and creating a class set of notes might be as far as you want to take this, though if you break it down farther into groups, you may want students to turn that assignment in. The process for having students turn a collaboration in as an assignment is very simple. You create an assignment within Canvas and you require students to turn in the link to their collaboration. If you're unsure how to have students submit a link as an assignment, I have a video that covers that. Also, again, just as a friendly reminder, make sure if you're going to use collaborations that you have those turned on in the course navigation area. And if you have a question on that, I also have a video that covers that topic as well. Earlier in the video, I alluded to the fact that collaborations could not be deleted from student accounts. So that's a very nice feature for those teachers who are frustrated by students losing files in Google Drive. They can access it through Canvas. They don't even have to go into Google Drive and they cannot delete it. The only person that can delete a collaboration that has been created as part of Canvas is a teacher. And when you are ready to do that, you go into the Collaborations tab on the Course Navigation menu, you find the collaboration, and you click the Trash Can. It will ask you if you would like to delete the collaboration. Thanks for watching my video on Canvas collaborations. As the name indicates, collaborations are a great way to ensure that your students collaborate, whether it be in large groups, small groups, or as an entire class. Regardless of how you implement collaborations, I hope you found the information in the video useful and it will benefit your students in some way. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thanks and have a great day.